get. I'm gonna start from the esports, and I'm just gonna go do go up. To be completely honest, this team here just look like um they have art. But to be honest, these people are trying. These people are also trying to think they have aura. The, the, these two people are the only ones that technically won. And honestly, I'm just gonna. I don't even care. I don't even care about these votes. Well, I don't care about that one. Nah, go back up. <laughs> Do it. Get 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 the worst ones out of the way. Who the fuck are these guys? Best esports athlete? Well, for starters, this dude here looks like an absolute fucking athlete. Why am I not on here? That dude looks like he could be my older, my older brother. That dude's just flexing with his fucking, with that bracelet. I don't even know what that is, MVP. This dude looks like he might kidnap my kid. Uh, do this, dude. Here you go, best esports game. CS Counter Strike Two, Dota Two, League of Legends, Mobile Legends, Bang Bang, or Valorant. I'm gonna say Valorant just because I've seen some funny ass clips on that. Now we can get on to it. Best Game Direction. Okay, we got, we got the worst ones out of the way. Best Game Direction. Awarded for Outstanding Creative Vision and Innovation in Game Direction and Design. What the fuck is Bellatro? Like, all these other ones I know. I'm not going to give it to Astro Bot. I mean... I kind of want to give it to Elden Ring. That or Metaphor. Fuck. Ah. I'm giving it to I'm giving it to Elden Ring. I'm giving it to Elden Ring. I'm giving it to Elden Ring. Best narrative for outstor outstanding storytelling and narrative development in a game. Yeah, okay, so like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, Metaphor, as soon as Hellblade 2 can get out of here. So it's just re it's just down to Rebirth and Silent Hill 2. And I'm gonna give it to Silent Hill 2. Mainly because Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Like, I was able to follow the story, but that the ending made zero sense. The ending to me just made zero sense. Like, uh, I'm not going to spoil it. Silent Hill 2. Best art direction? Fuck, wait. I'm changing. Best game Yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm changing my vote. I'm changing my vote. Best game do Best game direction. I'm actually going to give this one to. I might give this one to Final Fantasy. Then best art direction, Elden Ring. Got to spread the love around. You got to spread the love around. Best score and music. Astro Bot had that just that one catchy tune. The uh. The, it's the, uh, Astro, but that's, that's all it had. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It only had two good moments, like, music moments. It's when you get to the, get to the park, then the, then Aerith's song. Uh, I've never played, I haven't played Metaphor. I want to. Silent Hill 2, the only, the music in the game, they're only, like, towards the end, like, the endings you get. I might give it to Stellar Blade, you know? Because, I mean, it, my friend told me that uh, the Silent Hill 2 music is just reused from the old game. So, Stellar Blade? I, I'm, I'm going to Stellar Blade. The music in that game was fire. Best audio design. 
Silent Hill 2. It has to be Silent Hill 2. Yeah, Silent Hill 2. The audio in that game may... When I play that game, I actually thought a a, a, a leg... A mummy... A, a goth mummy leg creature was going to come up behind me and absolutely choke me out between her thighs. Best performance? No. Uh... Who are you? You look familiar. Uh... That's Max Caulfield? And, oh, yeah, that's the voice of Aerith. No, it's gotta be James Sunderland. It's gotta be James Sunderland. The, out, the absolute sigma of a male. What? Why, why the... Oh, no. Oh, the stream's gonna crash soon. GG's. Oh, here we go. No, no, we're still in! We're still in! Innovation accessibility. Recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology, yeah, nah. I think... It's between Dragon Age or Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I'm going to give it to Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Only because of the Omni Movement. But, at the same time, I fucking hate it in multiplayer. Game for impact. For a thought-provoking game with a pro social meaning and or message. Um. You know what? Just because it's on here, I just... <laughs> Life is Strange. I, d I want Life is Strange to win something. Best ongoing. Awarded to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. Should an Elder Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree be here? See, th this is what's going to happen. Fortnite's going to win this, but at the same time, I hope Hell Divers 2 wins. Best community support? How big is the Final Fantasy community, really? I mean, honestly, No Man's Sky, is that, that's still going on? But just because Bol I mean, Baldur's Gate 3, though. But Baldur's Gate 3, though. Baldur's Gate 3 is here, though. <laughs> Best independent game? I haven't played any of them. But just because this is, like... It, this, this, I'm guessing this game would have had to be good since it's nominated for Game of the Year. For the best debut game created by an oh so it's indie indie game um again never played Animal World haven't played Bellatro haven't played Man of Lords but I've seen I've seen gameplay of Pacific Drive and I and I've played the Plucky Squire I say Plucky Squire I say Plucky Squire best mobile games was um then the Zone Zero is a mobile game it's got to be AFK Journey. I've seen so many ads of AFK Journey. Best VR slash AR. Okay, so I have a feeling it's between this and this. Or maybe this. I'm going to give it to Metro. Best action game. Here we go. This is where this is where shit's going to get controversy. Controversial. So we got Black Myth, Wukong, Black Ops Six. No, I'm not fan for Black Ops Six for best action. Hell Divers Two, Stellar Blade, and Warhammer. I mean, my top three, my three picks would be Wukong, Stellar Blade, and Warhammer. My honest opinion. Wukong was fire, but I liked the combat and Stellar Blade better than Warhammer and Wukong. You know what? Nah, 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 nah. Give it to Warhammer. It, it, it was more memeable. Warhammer was more memeable. I love Stellar Blade though. For obvious reasons. 
The, this is the loading screen I can, I'm okay with. I can stare at Eve that, I mean, Eve. Best action adventure. I mean, it's got to be Silent Hill 2, right? The fact that Silent Hill 2 wasn't nominated for Game of the Year. How did, wait, wait, wait. How did Bellatro get nominated over Silent Hill 2? Best RPG? Yeah, no, nah, where's Elden Ring? <sighs> Ebirth. Elden Ring. I have a feeling Shadow of the Ocean might win. <laughs> Just game of the year. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Sparking Zero, hands down. That took over my life. Um, Best Family? I don't know, Mario Party? Yeah, nah, GG's. Best sport slash racing? WWE. WWE. Like how nothing's loading. Well, I restarted the internet and everything. Nothing. Nothing's working. We're running out of internet. It's like that one episode of South Park. Where the internet, the, everyone thinks the internet is running out, but really it was just a, a cable loose. <sighs> Bro, it does not take this long to load. It does not take this long to load a fucking page on Google. Best multiplayer. Here we go. I'm giving that the Black Ops 6. Oh, no. Best adaptation. Fallout. I, I've still haven't. I've never seen Arcane. Knuckles was good. I haven't seen Like a Dragon, and I haven't seen the Tomb Raider one. So, For, the Fallout show was amazing though. Most anticipated in to the petty game of next year. It, obviously, GTA Six is going to win that, but I'm actually I'm more excited for Death Stranding Two. I'm more I'm more excited for Death Stranding Two than I am for Grand Theft Auto Six. Ghost of Yota, I'm more so excited for. They wait. I'm content creator of the year. Here we go. Okay, so. Got to vote. You got. We got to vote for Queso. The big, the biggest content creator of the year. Okay, that brings us to game of the year. Just to clarify, I did change best game direction to Black Myth Wukong. Mainly because I think, I think my game of the year. It's it's such a big thing. I enjoyed playing. All three of all four of these games: Astro Bot, Wukong, Elden Ring, and Rebirth. I did finish, and I platinumed Astro Bot. I finished Shadow of the Erd Tree. I finished Rebirth, but I haven't finished Wukong. I'm stuck on the final fight. I can't do it for God who knows why. Never heard of Bellatro, and I've seen gameplay and metaphor. Any one of these games win game game of the year. I'll be happy. But it all comes down to personal decision. If Silent Hill 2 was on here, it would have made it a lot harder. And I'm surprised this beat Silent Hill 2. But. My initial vote would go would be for Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. But. For I don't know how Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree is in Game of the Year. Considering it's an expansion. It's not a, it's not a standalone game. To play it. Oh, Shadow of the Erd Tree, you would have had to play the norm, the standalone game. And last time I checked, Elden Ring did not come out in 2024. 
Astrobot. I mean, a lot of grown men would have played Astrobot. Um, I love Wukong. But I think I'm going to go with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I think... I think I... You know what? No. No. My gut is saying to go Black Myth Wukong. My gut is telling me to go Wukong. But if re but I'm rooting for Rebirth to win. I'm vote I'm casting my vote in for Black Myth Wukong. But I'm I'm a hundred percent rooting for Rebirth to win.